What's up, Prize Fight fans? It's time for Tech's Ultimate Throwdown Showdown. I'm Brian Tong, and we've got a face off like no other. We're taking the two biggest names in tech and throwing them in the prize fight ring. It's Bill Gates versus Steve Jobs, and this one's going 10 rounds, so hold on to your butts. Round one is baller status. Whose pockets are lined with so much cash that money ain't a thing and they can make it rain all day? Bill Gates' current net worth is at $58 billion, and Steve Jobs is at $5.4 billion. BG's rolling 10 times stronger. This round goes to Gates. First you get the money, and round two is all about the power. Fortune releases their Power 25 list each year. At the end of 2007, Bill Gates ranks seventh, and who do you think is numero uno? You got it, Stephen Paul Jobs. He's changed the game for computing, music, wireless phones, retail, and Hollywood, and no one has more influence over such a diverse group of businesses. Jobs flexes his muscle, we're even at one. Next up, who's got street cred? You've heard of the options backdating scandal with SJ, but he's been clear to that. BG, this guy has a criminal record. He was arrested for speeding and driving without a license. Sure, it was 31 years ago, but there's the mugshot to prove it. That's right, gangsta. Gates takes the lead, round four, education. Both Bill Gates and Steve Jobs dropped out of college to pursue their dreams. But the odds of you doing the same thing, taking over the world, and ending up on a prize fight, pretty slim. So go get your diploma and educate yourself, people. Nobody gets a point this round. Next round, it's Factor. You've heard the stories about Steve Jobs. Plus, he outright smack talks Microsoft in his keynotes. And have you seen those ads? What do you got planned? What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna copy everything you did in 2007. No contest here. Steve-O was the dick. Round six, employment history. Bill Gates has run Microsoft his entire life and is stepping down on his own terms to run his foundation. Steve Jobs was ousted by the company he built, then returned to Apple to make it bigger and better than it ever was. SJ is pulling away, and I can hear the Apple fanboys cheering with glee. Appearance is next. Whose passion is fashion? Steve Jobs, you know he looks in the mirror, like a lot. Picks out the perfect pair of Levi's, and he uses that lint remover on his St. Croix black mock turtleneck before lacing up his box fresh New Balance sneakers. Now, William looks in the mirror twice a week, maybe in the morning, and if disheveled his style, well then he's got it. But he wears different shirts, ties, pants, even colors. He changes. Gates gives us something to look at every time, and he takes this round. We're almost there, people. Round eight is cult leader status. Who makes people cheer? even weep and scream like little girls at a Hannah Montana concert when he announces the latest product? Even though everyone in the crowd already knows how it looks and the specs for it. Three words. Reality distortion field. It's a real thing. Look it up in Wikipedia. And when 3G actually gets announced, oh, all hell is breaking loose. Jobs can lead a cult like no other. Next round, it's all about the missus. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs are both married men. So, who has the hotter wife? And you have to pick one. It's really like comparing apples to oranges. And if you had to ask me, I'm picking apples, baby. So after nine hotly contested rounds, SJ leads five to three. This doesn't look good for BG. What's the final round that will decide it all? It's philanthropy. Who gives till it hurts? I'm sure Steve Jobs has privately given to a lot of charitable causes. The fact is, he terminated all of Apple's corporate philanthropy programs in 1997. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has donated tens of billions of dollars in every U.S. state and more than 100 countries. The bottom line, BG is changing and saving lives. We're giving him a triple point score in this round. So total up the final score, and it's six to five, making him your prize fight winner. Thanks for having fun with us, and I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings, because at the end of the day, both of these guys are billionaires. I'm Brian Tong, and we'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Whoop!
Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of the CNET Mailbag Show. It's the show where we read all of your email, from the ridiculous to the sublime, and we especially like the hater mail. Really. See it in high def at cnet.com slash mailbag.